Hello and welcome to another episode of Star Wars Empire at War, where we are continuing to play as the Galactic Republic in the Fall of the Republic mod. We are very close to the end now. There are only a few more systems that we need to conquer. I think we are going to attack Rindilla and maybe send some ships down to uh, help support Tarkin, if I'm going to be completely honest. Turns out that we actually have this, so I could do this down here and send some of these peltas down here just doing this i think helps a lot also on naboo yeah we're getting more peltas on kerma we could get nothing because we need money we'll be getting some next cycle let's get mom mothma off to for us i would like to send this army down to bombus quarry as well okay now Part of me is tempted to just kind of auto-resolve these two space battles while we do, uh, quote-unquote, more important things. I'll actually send Coda down south as well. I think it would be fun to kind of have all of our heroes in one place, more or less. So let's start by... What I might do, honestly, is I might just attack um, Hypori, actually. Maybe that's foolish. That might be foolish. We're building this, which will kind of block them off. That fleet is almost down there. You're just chilling. Another Venator. Send you to drop and roll. Hmm. We can do that. Not really sure. I think we do actually attack Hypori first. I think that could be fun. And then we go for Safety check everything else, you more or less. Let me try to impress you then. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Construction complete. While we're waiting, let's um uh, oh, come on now. Construction complete. Hack. Oh, come on. There we go. Let's crush Scipio. Scum. Construction complete. Oh, this is actually gonna be a big battle. In that case, let's fight it. I wonder if this is the entirety of the banking clan's army. Quite a few of these Dreadnought Cruisers. Are these repair ships? They are. Ooh, that's annoying. Well, I think I drop in the Mandator and... Uh, not the Mandator. I forgot what its name is. We'll get some victories in here. And a repair ship. My favorite Pelta. Respond. This is called the Maelstrom. That's right. Take out the army Go after a Dreadnought each, more or less. Yeah, completely and utterly wiping out everything. We'll get some of these in just to take out any fighters if they do show up. Let's get another Acclimator, or Venator, and then an Acclimator. And then you. Yay. So dark. Yeah, our big ships destroying everything. We have a lot of shields on the Maelstrom Battle Cruisers. Why are you like that? Why, 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 why are you like this? Uh, we're doing pretty well. You have all your shields, almost. I would like you to move forward, actually. Uh, go after this. Yeah, you're destroying that, probably. Go after this. Actually, just go after that, right? And then you move here. Well, not, not that much far forward. We have our acclimator, but I would rather select the maelstrom. There we go. Very cinematic. So the goal is to complete this series, this episode and next episode. I think the battle for Solus is basically going to take a long time. So wiping out Hypori now, this episode, is a must. Also, maybe fighting the space. I think... I'm not sure. I think just leaving two planets alone will be fine. We could fight the battle over... It's not Malister, but that smaller planet that I forget the name of. Oh, I actually lost one of my small ships. That's too bad. You've taken a lot of damage, huh? All of these stupid fighters and bombers are doing all these stupid things. Alright, come on now. Move forward. At your service. Sir, 
I'm happy that the Maelstrom does not take permanent damage. It would be kind of a pain if they did. Go for this. Go for this. After that. Take this out. Alright, now just speed through this. Good stuff. I think, yeah, two planets should be fine for one episode. Um, so, I don't think we need to worry all too much. Now, the thing is, do I auto-resolve the battle for Scipio? It could be fun to take out another one of the factions. The big thing is I'm worried that Obi-Juan here is going to die. You are nothing if not persistent. It's just, uh... <laughs> We're being a bit scummy here. I apologize for that. But uh, at this point, come on out. Invasion commencing. I'll accept you everything but hero deaths. Yeah, Sash see, that's fine. Conquered. Okay, good. So we'll do the final Mines, battle for Ord Mantrell. Do we have any ground forces? No. Well, we, we, we do. Unit, stand by. So I could send those here to Barlock. They'll all die, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Some Senate guards, actually. Uh, was that all? No, I had some forces here as well. Hypori. So they have a pretty big fleet. 287, as well as the Tier 3. They do not have Hypervelocity Cannon. Okay, that's interesting. Hopefully I had a Pathfinder in this fleet. Yes, I did. Okay, good. So the big thing is they have this old stuff that is very dangerous. Like, don't get me wrong, but it's slow. And they have this, which will repair everything. I'm thinking I drop in Tarkin here and I try to kind of try to let them come to me. I should definitely get my Peltas in. Five Peltas, six, seven, eight Peltas, and the two repair Peltas. That's ten Peltas. That's quite a bit of my supply. I mean, that's almost 30. That's more than 10%. That should be enough for Anti-Fighter, I hope. We'll get in uh, a victory. Maybe some Acclimators. The big thing there is I could remove the Acclimators once their Fighters and Bombers are dead. Right? Are they going to attack us? It would be nice if they did. We could get... Do we have any more Venators? We don't. Actually, this is a very Venator poor fleet. Acclimator heavy, though. Are they coming here? Yes, they are. It's very Acclimator heavy. It's very uh, anti-fighter heavy. Who needs fixing? I mean, we do have the uh, Acclimator carriers, but no Venators. Hmm. I see. Homing in. This is kind of like an outdated fleet in that case. General. Well, I mean, the victories do help. Are you guys moving forward? Sort of, but not quite. Lots and lots of Peltas. Should be taking these out. We do have the repair Peltas that will help us with everything. Okay, they're moving in. These are destroyer, destroyer, destroyer. Imagine being able to grab in the Mandator now. Oof, that would be so powerful. But it's fine. Yeah, they're, they're doing fine. Hunting down all of their bombers and fighters. How much does this have? 32 squads of fighters and 24 squads of bombers in addition to the 16 that they pump out at the start. That's kind of crazy. Crazy. What am I going to drop in? Some uh, destroyers. Dreadnoughts, maybe. Dreadnought or two would be pretty good. Let's get two of them in here. Three of them in here. That'll help destroy the, their destroyers, more or less. Let's get an acclimator in here. The big thing with acclimators is as long as they're not dead, I could... You know, drop in more forces and basically replace them. And I guess I'll get this. And this. Okay, this is our fleet. 
See, like, for example, this one. It's taking a bunch of shield damage. I could theoretically be uh, dropping them out now. These, not so much. Okay, good, good, good. Go after this. They're gonna, we're, we're gonna lose some forces this time. Yeah, that's, that's happening. Uh, so for example, I could be dropping these out right now. Go here. You go there. Like this one has taken like lost all its shields almost, and I have a lot more. A lot more. I have a few more uh, acclimators. So do I drop? Do I try to escape with it? I think I do. Why not? Like, well, we'll do that. I'll just drum those two out, and I'll replace them with two new ones, basically. All right. Look at that massive fleet. Now, they're going to get reinforcements. I mean, they're going to have a lot more stuff. Their repair ship is off to who knows where, which is good for us. I mean, this is a brutal battle. It's going very well so far. Oops. No, whoops. That was not intended. So, I dropped out two of these. That's 26. So, I haven't lost anything yet. I might just replace them with two new ones. Like two fresh acclimators. Come on now. There we go. Maybe a bit silly, but that's what I'm doing. And then I'll grab you and move you forward. Move you forward. I need to move my point defense a bit farther forward as well, I think. Yeah, okay, good. You're here. Nice. We got you covered. Move you forward. Move you forward. Move you a little bit further as well. Just a little bit. Move you a tiny bit forward as well. Good. So they're all kind of bunched up, my ships right now, which I think means that they pretty good at concentrating their fire. The tier two is gonna help a lot. You're taking damage. Ooh, that's not going great. If I could get these out and replace them with uh, Let's go take this out. If I could replace them with... Uh, ooh, I think this is unfortunately going to pass away. The Ephesur. Let's see. That one, man. Oh, okay. We saved both of them. That's fantastic. So we'll be getting another 176, right? 174. I wish I had a little bit more so I could get the Invincible Dreadnought in. Because I do not want to drop in the small ships. Unfortunately... Well, I could emergency retreat you, I guess. These are not doing well. Uh, go after this. Go after that. Get you guys here. Take these out, please. If possible. Yeah, you're trying to escape. That's good. We'll get the Invincible Dreadnought in. To... Now, that is 28... So this is going to get rid of 13, so we'll have 161. So plus 28, that's 181, 185. So we can still get in, like, a couple smaller ships. 185. Underway. I'm going to be very annoyed if this screws me over. <laughs> but I was kind of conservative there. This ain't going good. That's almost dead. Okay. I should be able to get the... You soon. Come on out. There we go. You're more of a damage sponge more than anything. Not really a DPS ship, but... So do let me know what you guys think about these tactics. Trying to kind of cycle ships. I think... I'm not doing a great job. I could be doing it better. But I'm not doing a terrible job either. Okay, this is dying. This is dying. Okay, take out this Rakuzan. Oh, I lost a few ships. So see, at this point, for example, maybe cycling all those ships out was a bit premature because now I cannot replace them with bigger ships. 
On the flip side, smaller ships do do a lot of damage. And they do have a lot of anti-fighter. I think if the fleet had maybe a couple more acclimators and a couple more venators, this would be like a really good strat. It's like the fleet composition isn't 100% there to do this. Now what I could actually do is I could actually retreat. I've destroyed a lot of their ships. Just cutting my losses, retreating and hitting them again would probably make this a very easy victory. I might lose a ship or two, but that's kind of it. Now I think what we need to do is we need to go after this. Let's grab all of these. Take out their fighters and bombers, please. <laughs> For the Republic, you You're just going to move here? Receiving your orders, General. Oh, you have not used Ready your missiles. Orders, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go after this. Thank you. Cruiser, oh, you Ready. also have uh, are green. some stuff. And you're going to stay where you are. If I could save you, that would be fantastic. What's the order? Attack. Okay, we're trying to kill this real quick. Oh, they have a second one. Hmm. That's not great, but once this one is gone... Ooh, looking kind of kind of tough. We'll take this, then this. They're kind of winning the fighter battle. Oh, definitely. You guys are just going to go for this station. We're very close to winning this. A lot of our ships have taken damage, though. No, go after this. Take this out, take this out, take this out. Then we go for the Lucre Hulk. The Fortuna. We're going to start losing a lot of ships. I actually do think that we retreat. Maybe that's foolish, but... I think we're going to lose a lot of our ships if we don't. Oh, yeah, that's right. I completely forgot about that. Oh, that was terrible of me. You guys need to go for this. I hope people weren't all too uh, upset that I forgot about that. I'm going to try to take all of these out. Do they have any? No, they do not. They only have those three. Well, all of our ships just need to do our best. Oh, and now we lost the engines to that. I think at this point we just fight it out. Tarkin has all of his shields. That's good. We're going to lose a lot of our ships now. That's really too bad. Okay, try to take out their fighters and bombers. This will allow us to retreat if we wanted to. At this point, I think we just fight it out. Ooh, it is bad. I need to get the mandator in. Where are my repair ships? I need to get you close to Tarkin, because Tarkin is... He cannot be traded away. The Eisenfaust, the uh, Triumph, they're all, I think, going to die, which is really sad. We're close to wiping out all their bombers, though. All their fighters and bombers. If any of these ships can, like, run away, I would like to do that. Okay. Tarkin is doing okay for now. Oh, it's so, like, 150 is such a steep price. 115 now. Once we lose this, I need to move. I think I need to sacrifice the Ronin. If the Ronin dies, we can drop in uh, the Mandator. And at that point, maybe turn it around. Until then, this is really bad. Ah, uh, Tarkin. Tarkin, Tarkin, Tarkin. Take out these fighter bays. I think Tarkin's gonna die. Oh, that is really a real shame. Does he have his engines? He does have his engines. Okay, we're trying to save Tarkin here. I'm sacrificing the Ronin to save Tarkin. I think that's worth it. 
And we might be able to save both of our victories. Yes, we did. Okay. That was very brutal. I think we lost... Yeah, we lost to Ronin. 15... 19... Well, we had like a little bit over 400, so I'll be able to see... And what sucks is... Oh, they're going to join this fleet. Um... What sucks is that much of their fleet that we destroyed was uh, from their capital shipyard, so they're going to regain those. Still, from 200 to 106. Yeah, we combine these two fleets. What did we just fight? Oh, yeah, this. Hmm. Do I auto-resolve this? I don't think I should. So we'll fight it out. <laughs> All right. I had to reload uh, the auto resolve because the game kind of froze. Um, well, it's fortunate that I had that anyway. Otherwise, I would have had to reload from the previous save. So, uh, all right. They have that fleet composition. Uh, Choose your reinforcements. Let's get in the mandate over here. Going very capital heavy on our ships. Get our repair ship in here. Closing on the target. On my way, Commander. As you wish, Commander. Okay, let's get our some of our anti-fighter in here. Entering hyperspace now. That's fine. Moving out. Do these oh yeah, these actually disable missiles, so they're actually a really good counter to our victories. Oh, that's not great. Not great at all. Star destroyer. And you are taking a lot of damage. Let's start Blasting going charged. after... No. Striking target. You guys go after these. You're going to go after this. Away. And let's get all of our fighters and bombers. You, the get you guys there. Get you guys there. Negative, sir. Actually. Sir, incoming transmission from the command center. A couple more hits like that and she's done for. They could be trouble. We're going to try to save the Buran. Right here. We are doing quite a bit of damage to them, though. Gonna start doing damage to this. This. Ready for attack orders. We, can't take we are taking a lot of damage. I don't like that at all. Move you forward. Move you forward. Move you a little bit forward. Move you forward. You're good where you are. Uh, move you forward. My fighters and bombers are coming in. Yeah, good. Doing lots of damage here. Alright, go after this. Go after this. Alright, I think this went okay. Diamonds there, getting destroyed. This is a victory, I guess? This might be the Acclimator. This might be um, Hellion's ship itself. Oh, you are very far forward right now. Oh, you definitely could. Move you forward. Move you forward. Are you still alive? Yes, you are. Good. They have a lot of these small ships as well. They're still alive. I haven't, haven't actually... Well, okay, never mind. I was about to say, I haven't actually lost anything yet, but that is no longer the case. Replace you with another Dreadnought. Thank you very much. We have reinforcements. They do not. Everything we destroy is going to be permanent. Everything they lose is going to be... You know... Irreplaceable. Start taking out these smaller ships, right? Uh, yeah, take these out. Stop where you are. Move you guys forward. They have all of these tiny little interceptor frigates. The Twi'lek Dancer. 
But I think we basically reached critical mass to where we have so many fighters and bombers, they can't do anything. So we'll probably make a cut to the end of this battle. Now, I do wonder if we're going to do one more episode. Or one more episode. One more battle for this episode. I think we need to. I need to fight the second battle for Hypori. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's enable the credits. All right, so um, our fleet is attacking there. We'll fight this. So the annoying thing is we're not going to have the fleet, uh, or the Pathfinder is the name for it, in this battle. That's going to be annoying. All right, let's see what we get. Come on out. Hmm. All right, we got Adder Tal in it. I would prefer Tarkin, but that's fine. Uh, in fact, I don't really like this composition at all. It's fine. They do not have an ion cannon, so kind of going to be big fleet versus big fleet, big ship versus big ship. They no longer have that repair situation. I think this is stronger than a uh, Lucre Hulk. 2000. No, never mind. It's not. No, it is. It is. It has more, more engine, more health, more all that good stuff. The composition is pretty bad here, though. All right, so we're kind of just bunching everything up, trying to keep all of our ships together, more or less. Soaking in all the damage, wiping out those fighters as best we can. Yeah, this uh, composition is definitely far from optimal, but it's fine. And, uh, you know, Adder Talon is stronger than that Luger Hulk, so hopefully minimal losses. <laughs> we'll see. So let's see what we get. Well, let's chill where you are. No, cancel. You are going to go against this. Now he is tier 3, so he's not terrible. Just not great. Let's see. Yeah, that victory is going to die. But getting Tarkin in would be pretty amazing if we could do so. Come on now. Add our talent. Move forward. And there we go. That victory is gone. With that, I think we could drop in some uh, repair ships. Like some good repair ships. Uh, us? And there we go. That should be enough anti fighter. Right, if we lose anything else, yes, then it will Reaching be what it will be. Ready to clear. I really Order. wish I could replace this uh, Invincible Dreadnought with Tarkin, but orders, alas, it is not meant to be. We'll Take this one out. They're almost gone there. And then we'll basically have Adder Talon versus the Lucre Hulk. Uh, Adder Talon's going to win that battle. That's for sure. Well, you guys go after this. You're taking a lot of damage. Let's show these clones how it's done. 
Let's show these clones how it's done. Alright, take out the Lucre Hulk. I think you wanted that other ship over there. The Ark Quentin, go after this. Oh, you're actually getting decent damage. Hmm. Watch out for those asteroids. Watch out for those asteroids. Lucre Hulk versus Praetor. Yeah, it doesn't have a chance. It lose in a one on one, and now we have all those support ships helping it. Basically dead already. We're gonna move Pelion. Pelion. We're gonna be moving Outer Talon forward. I don't even feel like I need to uh, specifically target anything down. The rest of the fleet could probably take him out, take this out. Adjusting course. Yeah, look at that. Doing very well for ourselves. Decoding transmission. Ready to deliver. I've got the you guys move here. Ready to update orders. Picking up an enemy Take out the smaller station. Stay in formation. Safety complete. Where are we headed? Let's move this bucket. I didn't put the All lights are green. Plot our course. Yes, fixing course. Received. On our way. Proton bombs in the chute. Now it's charging the generator. Move you forward here. Just try them. All right, doing lots of damage. Our Quentin's here. Destroy our red. Another one on my six. Let's run this gauntlet. There we go. Fantastic. Yeah, we lost that one victory. I think we will actually leave the battle for Hypori, the ground battle, call this a diplomatic solution. Uh, for next episode. We're probably going to auto-resolve the battle for uh, Preslin, like the ground battle. So we'll basically have one, two space battles, one big ground battle. That's kind of, or two big ground battles. That's kind of where I'm thinking right now. Darth Sidious will not destroy the Republic. The Jedi will stop Beginning him. Oh, wow. He knows about Darth Sidious. That's interesting. Complete. It's very Bring interesting. Oh, yeah. I should maybe move these forces there as well. We'll be auto-resolving the battle for Ord Mantrell. Copy that, sir. Tactical battle imminent. Uh-oh. Well, we're going to retreat. I guess we won't be... Uh, that's actually really good. That means that we could probably take Tarkin in the fleet and hit half of them. I'm just gonna retreat immediately. Like there, I don't see any need to try and fight this. That's actually good news for us. Taking out two smaller fleets uh, is gonna help. Call for a retreat. Where is Yularen? I think his fleet is on the other side of the situation. Otherwise, I would have Yularen jump in here. Tactical battle imminent. Where? Auto resolve. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, pause. They already conquered Rindilla. Where is Yularen? I think he's somewhere here, right? Yeah, he is. That is too bad, but I could send you Lauren and the Antilles here to these two systems to try and split them up. And then I could separate a fleet, maybe have Tarkin, uh, or I honestly just do the battle for Hypori, then send this fleet to take over Rindilla. That's interesting. So yeah, we're going to end the episode here. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Join us next time where we continue as the Galactic Republic. I upload content every day of the week for now. Star Wars four times a week, Saturdays through Tuesdays. So subscribe for more. And uh, let me know if you have any suggestions for music for the next series where I play the Confederacy. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.